When you're dealing with patellar tendon pain, it's always a load tolerance issue. It's sometimes a biomechanics issue. If we talk about biomechanics, something I've had conversations with David Gray and Kyle Dobbs about is what are we really talking about when it comes to jumper's knee? And they talk a lot about an extended position where the rib cage is flared and the pelvis is stuck in anterior tilt. Right here, I'm doing a zercher squat that gets can get you out of the extended position where the rib cage is down and the pelvis is more underneath you. If you're an athlete who's stuck in an extended position, a zercher squat or a front squat might be a better option to get you out of it. Right here, I'm doing RDLs. This could put athletes back in an extended position. Sure, you're strengthening your hamstrings, but you could just be going back into anterior tilt. David Gray has talked about this exercise here where we're going into a posterior pelvic tilt and we're training the hamstrings in that position. We're also getting co-contractions of the hamstring, calf, and quadriceps, which when your foot hits the ground when you're running, when the foot hits the ground when you're jumping and landing, if you can get better co-contractions, maybe that can decrease pain. So these are ideas these guys have talked about. I'm also doing, after this, I'm doing a split squat exercise. David Gray's talked about going into this. If you just dump into anterior tilt, the pelvis just goes back to where you might be stuck in already, the extended position. That might not be the best for the patellar tendon because we need to be able to move the pelvis in anterior and posterior tilt. So if you get the pelvis a little bit more under you, this might be better for relieving patellar tendon pain. This could also be lengthening the rectus femoris uh, better. So these are some ideas with the biomechanical approach. It's not complete at all, but those are things maybe you should focus on is the extended position, rib cage is flared, pelvis is anterior tilted. If you're stuck in that position, maybe that's putting more stress on the patellar tendon and maybe that's causing pain. Maybe that's something you need to focus on and you can change exercises. Enjoy.